it's Ken, CR Nuts Motorsports. Latest update on Bad Kitty. Driving it around, handles fantastic, smooth, uh, very tight, no rattles, very impressed. Okay, I, we did that right. Uh, engine, incredible. Power up the yang yang. Downfall, sniper. Bugging me, it ain't right. And the latest situation is it's uh, stalls when it's cold. And the air fuel ratio, let's say you're, it's just not right. It's, you're cruising 2200. You know, I'm in third gear, 40 miles an hour, just putting on the side roads. And after about 30 seconds or something, all of a sudden the air fuel ratio will drop down to six and the car just damn near dies. And then all of a sudden it just jumps back. And the air fuel ratio is bouncing all over the place from, and, you know, from 13 to 16, which scares, that's not good. You don't want that, okay? I mean, it should be running 13 to 12.5 under full throttle. And it's not doing that. And it's almost stalling, and I can't figure out. It's just like it has a mind of its own. This book right here, the insulation guide in the Holly Handbook, if you go towards the back of the book, and I'll post these up on the screen, you got two screens you can look at. You can look at the uh, sensor multi-gauge, or you can look at the air-fuel ratio multi-gauge. I've been looking at the air-fuel ratio because I've just hung up on the air-fuel ratio being right, and it's not. All right? So I had Casey drive the car. We had to run the auto zone. Had Casey drive the car. I'm like, tell me what you see. And so we drive up there, and it almost stalls on him by going way too rich. And yeah, he's like, wow. You know, and it, and it stalls pulling up to a stop site when it was cold. And he's like, you're, you know, you're not making this up. It's, it's happening to you. So I go in, buy what I need to buy. He's in the car, and he's playing with it. Well, he starts flipping to the screens because we're thinking maybe, you know, we need to reset how we inputted the, you know, what engine it was and the cam and all that type of information. We'll start from scratch. And he wants to pull a log on it uh, so we can uh, download it, maybe send it to somebody. Lo and behold, he goes to the sensor multi-gauge. And the sensor multi-gauge shows you, uh, besides every gauge on there, it shows throttle position sensor. And at idle, it should be at zero. And at full throttle, it should be at 100%. Well, guess what? Zero the entire time, no matter what, is broken. KC Googles, and I'm going to post all these links, KC Googled, you know, what happens when your throttle position sensor is not functioning? And boom, 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 about five things. And it's exactly, exactly what the car is doing. And, and wow, we know what it is. There's uh, threads to this article that lead to Holly Forms and people talking about the throttle position sensor. And the long story short, if I were to contact Holly, I'd have to send it back, they'd replace it, or maybe they would sell me a new one. They, in the posting, they showed me a part number in a company. I could order the exact same sensor war for 40 bucks on Amazon, delivered in two days. Guess what we're going to do today? What size was it, do you know? Nine sixty four. Nine sixty four, so okay. Well, that's simple enough. But you can come look at the the chuck it fits into. Yeah. Which is just connected right to the throttle blades, the butterflies. 
pretty simple. Here's the new one. This does work. I'm gonna buy another one of these and we'll just keep it on hand and we'll know if it ever acts up what we need to look at. Yeah, see now I'm catching it. Yep. And it'll sit about there. Alright, so turn the key on. Okay, TPS is at zero. Oh my goodness, look at it work. So that's kind of all the way down. Yeah. Well, if you keep, but... We got to change out the throttle cable. I knew it wasn't opening all the way. Well, I think it's a little bit of the carpet, too. But, yeah. you know yeah, what I mean, though? Yeah, but it's functioning. They never did that before. Yeah, we didn't have that
Okay, a little meaty. Well, I think leave it for there. That's about what I got the white car at. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Great job, Casey. Great job. <laughs> Thank you.